Steve here, armed with my compressor, my airbrush, a makeshift workbench on my turntable. Actually, I'm just going to get a piece of, you know, I was thinking I'll get some plywood and get something to fit over here so I can use it as a bit of a, a spray bench on top of there or put my uh, spray booth on. Some wagons. These are new ones. I've had them for a while, but they just, they just stand out. Loads of paint. Uh, look at this. This is the stuff I clean the brush in. Murky stuff. And I'm going to thin it with that because it adds different colours to it. And it works all right because I've done it before. As I said, with, uh, with weathering, there's the right way, there's a the wrong way. Then there's a the railway or the model railway. There's plenty of ways to do things. And uh, there's no such thing as a right way. There's various ways. So this is, this is my effort. So, well, I'm going to do these in a batch. I'll do the tops first and then do the underframes. I normally use some sort of grey with black uh, or grey anyway, very dark grey. I just want to mist it. Uh, now, to mix the paint, I've got this. That's a bit of a copper tube and a bit of a, oh, sheet brass soldered to it. And I, the reason I use a drill is unlike a Dremel, if you go, use a Dremel, even at a slow speed, they go pretty quick. In fact, if you put that in a Dremel, that'll buckle, that'll just whiz out of shape because it's not balanced. But you can go like that. It's very good. So I'm going to mix up some, uh, I'll do the top, I'll mix up some grey first. So I've got some, uh, it's mostly white. I'll probably put some black in it. I've got some, look at this, the Merc. Let's put some of that in there. Let's see what that turns out like. Hmm, needs a bit of black. Let's test it. It's not too bad. I got this. So there's two wagons. I've just done a bit on the inside, probably do a bit more. And there's one untouched. Now I come back, I don't, I don't get right on the job. I come back up here and do it. I'm trying, it's, it's like dust. So, Oh, maybe a bit, bit there. I'm trying to hold the airbrush. Oh, so you can see how much just that XP went down then. Can always add a bit to it. Let's put that one down there. Let's start this one. As I said, that's uh, I just use this paint. I use some white, put some black in it, a bit of murk, but it's just terps. Let's have a look. Don't want to overdo it. I'll put some loads in here, I don't know what. Give this one a go. Oh, 
and you put a bit more underneath where it, so if there's one side there's the other side I sort of put it on as if it was falling out of the sky Might put a bit of rust on here too, like so I've done all the wagons, the tops. So what I've done now, I've mixed up some Humbrol number 70 brick red. And I mixed some of this, I poured all the paint back in there. Then poured that back in. It went a bit dark. Well, it got fairly dark, but it was a bit thick. So what I did is I put in some new turp so it didn't darken the colour. So we'll see how we go with this one. So these are the wagons I've just weathered this afternoon. Uh, there's six Slater's standard vans, two of these hoop wagons, Express Dairy, and a uh, Warwell wagon, which is a Hattons. So basically what I did is I do the tops first, then the bottoms. The tops, I mixed up Humbrol, some matte black, no I didn't use Humbrol, sorry, I used, I just used matte black I got from Arbor store, because it's cheaper. Put a bit of, uh, I got actually white first, and then I put some, started adding black into it to get a dark grey. For thinners, I used the turps I clean my brushes up with because it adds that bit of murk to it. And uh, it's not as if I want to get a pristine finish. So then I dusted it down the sides with a light grey. The top I've gone over with a bit, I've added some black to it to get the roofs darker. The under frames. I mixed up brick red uh, with uh, which is humble 70 and then I added uh, I just added some matte black to give it that sort of I don't know break rust sort of muck track grime these look a lot better now could I put some low I think I put some loads in those the express dairy one I just dusted down with grey and again you can see the uh, you can see the sort of rusty, I don't know, track, grime, brake dust, muck. And that's a Warwell wagon. Put a bit of rust on the top as well. Because there's a metal on the top. These are some, these are uh, Lionheart mineral wagons. I've got 12 of these. Uh, so, oh, plus I've got some Dapol eight plankers there. I did a bit different on these. I, I actually did airbrush them, but I actually dry brush different colours on rusts and stuff. I try to make them all different. Some are filled, some are empty. And they're the dapper ones. These are two Helgen uh, region oil tankers. I did these before. Same sort of principle, but afterwards I went over with a, probably a bit of a brush, dry brush and satin varnish. I was trying to get the uh, bit of oil down the side. This is uh, a Slater's, one of these hoop wagons. I built the tarp. The tarp's interesting. It's actually, um, what, what I did was I put some loads in it. It was bits of plastic pipe. Uh, you put glad wrap over it, cling wrap or whatever you want to call it. Lay tissue over it and put an elastic band around it. Uh, then you just wet it down and drop 50-50 uh, PVA wood glue. Let it dry. Pull the band off. You can pull the whole thing out because it's got glabra on underneath. Just cut round. And I reckon that looks pretty good. Yeah, so but the basic colours were uh, uh, your browns and your blacks. Sort of, it doesn't have to be well 
greys, greys for the top. I wanted to get that sort of ashen look. Uh, like my J17's got, I'll show you this one. I've got the ash, I, I, I dusted it over like an ashen colour, I've got a bit of rust, like heat rust. Down the bottom's done the same with the, uh, as the wagons. Anyway, that's it.